What you, nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for the Promised Neverland chapter 28. And before I get started with the um, recap and the actual live reaction, you probably notice I'm wearing my headset. Well, that's because while I am doing this live reaction, I am actually in the middle of the Struggle Death Con Gameathon on uh, my YouTube channel, and I figured, you know what? Since manga sleeps for no one, and I'm gonna be trying to raise money to pay for my bills and for my rent, why not do live reaction recordings while I am actually doing the gameathon? Why the fuck not? So anyway, um, make sure you check it out. Um, I'm gonna, I don't know how long I've been go I'm gonna be going. I went for eight hours on Twitch, and I realized, yeah, Twitch fucking sucks. I have more luck here on YouTube with you guys. You guys are a lot more loyal to me. So anyway, let's get to the recap here. Um, in the previous chapter of Promised Neverland, we have a backup plan for Norman so Norman won't die. Um, if you're in the stream, I'm sorry I'm spoiling it for you, but deal with it. Uh, so basically now we got to figure out how we're going to get Norman to escape. And also, we also got to figure out how Ray is going to break his arm and be able to sneak food when he still has a tracker in him. But anyway, let's see what happens this chapter of The Promised Neverland. So this chapter is called Lying Low. Oh man, this picture is cool. Oh, it's cool. Uh, rise now, secretly and stealthily. The beginning of, the, of uh, this escape plan about to come to light. Ray, when did you... Uh, when and how did you find out about the secret of this house? Oh yeah, we're gonna find out about how Ray knew about about the house being a farm. I knew from the beginning. Huh? That's right. Th Wait, what? He knew from the beginning? Jeez, that's right. This house is so peaceful and happy. There's no way anyone would anybody would find out about its secret under normal circumstances. Do you two know about uh, childhood amnesia? Nope. What is it? How far back in your childhood uh, can you two recall? My oldest memories must be from when I was three or four years old. Me too. Thought so. Um, people naturally tend to forget all of their memories from when they were infant and, infants and toddlers. This is uh, what is also known as childhood amnesia. Yes, this makes sense. This makes sense why they would forget a lot of the shit. But apparently, there are incredibly rare cases where this phenomenon does not happen um, to some people. Ray, it can't be that... Oh man, the starting point of this escape plan. I still remember things from back when I was an infant. Wait, what? Wait, how can... No, wait, this, what? Ray can remember that far back? Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay, my very first memory is of being in the darkness, enveloped in a warm liquid. Oh my god, this is really weird. I remember hearing my mo mother's voice. I vaguely rem um, remembering hearing parts of a lullaby. I never saw my parents. Holy shit, so we're gonna find out how he went, how they were sent to the farm in the first place. So my guess was that they had, um, like, you know how they have the farms for the kids to raise them up and send them out as food for the demons? They had to have, like, farms for the adults to probably breed kids as well to, to give to the farms. So it sounds like I'm right on this one. Um, all I remember are the small pieces. Oh my god, the demons! Holy shit! The demons are in the fucking hospital, too. Oh my god. That would eventually lead me to solving this puzzle. Next five, we were eventually split into groups of five. Later, I was brought here through a dark tunnel. You remember about the entire year before you were brought here? Yeah. And, Ray, you couldn't have said this sooner? Like, what the fuck, Ray? Why didn't you say this to Norman when you were talking about this shit with Norman? Like, what the fuck? Ah! Damn it! God, it's frustrating. Yeah, wait, but that means that beyond those gates, what awaits us isn't the outside world, but headquarters. Well, no fucking shit! I was always bothered by how my own memories didn't match up with the reality I was living in. As soon as I became literate, I finally understood everything that was going on. My memories aren't made up. This is no mere orphanage. It was the reality we lived in that was all... Um, wait, hold on a second. That was... Um, an that was in fact all made up. Holy shit, this is some fucked up shit. By the way, 
if you're in my stream right now, go read um, the promise and I'm spoiling this for you. Sorry, uh, I have to do this. I finally decided to ask Mama on my sixth birthday. Mama looked shocked for a single moment. And in that moment, I knew that my hypothesis was correct. What will you do now? Kill me? Mama, I want to make a trade with you. That's all there is to it. What do you mean that's all? He didn't just suffer six years. He's been suffering like this for the, his entire... Oh my god, I was going to uh, tell you either way when I figured out that you would match everything within the criteria. Give up on taking everybody. Criteria? Oh no, Emma's gonna find out! And I'm sure you picked up uh, from that story just now, huh? Beyond the gates uh, lies the headquarters. There are five branches, but the only difference is that we aren't located in plantation number three. The adults will swarm in as, um, as soon as they find out that someone has escaped, that this Gracefield house consists of the headquarters and its five separate braces, uh, branches. What? 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 Wait, what? Oh my god. Crossing those gates won't get us any freedom. As soon as we emerge on the other side, we'll be greeted by countless adults and demons. I figured that was going to be the case. But damn, I did not see, or I did not think that this was like the main hub. That is in, oh my god. Isn't that bad enough? No. This is precisely why the security here is so lax and why it will continue to, uh, to remain lax. That's why they can afford to make all of this um, work and why I'm so confident that nothing about this will change. We've gone off on a tangent, but back to topic. Either way, you ha have no need to get freaked out. Just disable your tracker and hide yourself within the forest. Use this. A candy? Hmm? Just press it up against your ear and press the button. That should be able to disable your tracker. With this device, we can render the trackers useless without Mama getting notified. Did you make that out of the camera? No, um, not just the camera. I've gotten various parts of this device from all kinds of junk I've created or I've collected from Mama as rewards for being good to her. Smart little motherfucker, man. He is smart. Um, he was so careful, uh, making sure to take his time over these six years so that Mama wouldn't find out. Also, right now, Donna and Gilda are working on... Um I got you. I got you! <laughs> um, let's see. I'm also working on the other details we have to work out for, for you to successfully lay low after your um, escape. I'll let you I'll let you in on the details later. Uh, later on. Thanks. In either case, that's important is that... Wait, sorry. In either case, what's important is that you make your disappearance tomorrow. After that, we'll carry out the escape mission as soon as Emma's, legs he, uh, Emma's leg heals. Got it. We won't let Norman die. Let's all escape this place together. Aww. Listen up to- Oh, God. This is just- Oh, my God. The fact that fucking Ray can remember as far as being, like, from being an infant? Oh, my God. And the fact that they're in Central? Jeez. This chapter is insane. Listen up, children. We've got fantastic news. We found Norman, a lovely couple, willing to adopt him. Oh, God. This is all very sudden, but he will be leaving us tomorrow night. Huh? Tomorrow? Congrats! Congratulations, Norman! He's leaving? What? Hey, careful! It's just so sudden, we'll really miss him. But he'll still be here tomorrow morning. Congratulations! Con congrats! Uh, let's play a lot tomorrow. Come on, Sherry! Con congrats! Thank you, everyone! Oh, Mama, Mama knows. She's like, I know you're planning something. I know. I know you're planning something, Ray. Now, children, it's time for dinner. Thank God we've come up with a way to save Norman. As long as our plan goes well, I'll heal up as quickly um, uh, as possibly as I can, and I'll definitely do it. And we'll def uh, and we'll definitely all escape, including Norman too. What is this? The next morning was no different than any other. Thank you for the meal. We ate food, took our daily tests, and lived as and lived our ha our life as happy members of a peaceful orphanage. Everything and everyone was as usual. Our siblings, Mama, us. 
Don't worry, everything will go as planned. And then, Norman disappeared! Died to live! Oh my god, do you guys- Oh my fucking god! Norman better have escaped! Norman better have escaped, or I am going to be mad as fuck! Oh my god, this chapter was amazing! I love this manga. I love it. I am loving it! Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, what you thought about this chapter. And hopefully I'll see you at the... Is you could do that. And this for goes for you guys that are on the live stream right now. You could donate to the Nerdigans Inc. Um, PayPal, Patreon, or purchase something off the Nerdigans Inc. Amazon wishlist. All the links are in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twits, aka Twitter, and uh, friend me on PlayStation Network. Everything's in that description box below. And until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!